Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got the big Underwood 5 here today. Wasn't able to uh, evaluate in front of the customer, so I'm going to do it now on video. And this one is a little rough, like all Underwoods that are in for service, it seems like. We got uh, some really good condition problems up here. I don't think these will even slide. Yeah, they're just. Oh, there, there it goes. I just almost rusted on the shaft here. Uh, roller looks like it's not too rounded out. There's some flat spots here, but it did roll paper through, so it should be all right there. Just got to uh, clean that up, and it will roll paper through. But it's still pretty rough here. The margin sliders are completely frozen. Uh, this one, I think, moves a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> just a fraction. Uh, the bell is messed up solid. There it goes. I got the bell to free up a little bit. Ribbon control here actually just got working. It was frozen solid. And, of course, the keyboard here is pretty, pretty rough. Rough conditions here. Uh, this rust is right on the, right down to the metal. It's missing the pads down here in this space bar pads. The shift is, is oh the shift isn't working at all here. So I tried to shift the carriage. I can get it to go up. It's it's just stuck. It just won't go up and down like it should. And uh so this should be going up and down. That's no good. Um, it's got some crazy squeaky noises in here. Kind of stopped squeaking. I think I I worked that through already, but. Still kind of rough, rough condition. Of course, it's got no feet on the bottom, so all four feet will have to be reworked. And uh, back here, the margin is completely gone. The scale here, completely gone. And uh, it's got some rust issues, but it does space. The draw band's broken too, so of course we sh should have figured that. So the draw band's broken. There's, it's missing all together, but it does it does space if I hold it. So that's a good sign, at least. But again, up in here, it's just really, really rough, rusty. The shaft was frozen. I did get it to move. That's probably what was squeaking right there. So everything's got to be flushed through, I guess. And uh, same conditions underneath here. It's just rusty. Just got rust scattered about, and especially in this back pivot block assembly is pretty rusty. Of course, no feet. The only foot that's on there is that one. It's, it's hard as a rock. I'm gonna break any second. And uh, of course, the keys are tight. Faces are rusty. And most of these are sticking up in the pivots or in the back pivots or squeaking. You can hear the squeaking. So those I have to be attended to. But I think that can all be done. It's just cosmetically going to look kind of rough. Um, a lot of this is irreversible damage. And of course the scale up here is a little rough too, but that's pretty common. It's only going to get worse. It's just brittle, it's just chipping. You just breathe on it and it's chipping. Alright, so here's the Underwood 5. Pretty common to find these in this condition. The carriage is not moving freely at all here, side to side. But we'll have to uh, fix that too, I guess. So yeah, it won't. It's really struggling there. Hey, look at that, the bell worked. 
and uh, serial number on this one's kind of low. It's six digits. What is this? It is seven four zero eight one six. So this might be nineteen twenty or so. Thereabouts. I'll have to look it up. All right, Phoenix typewriter. Good day.